Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Now we are going to discuss about very short answer questions from motion in a plane chapter. It is also very important chapter and the weightage of this chapter is 6 marks. 2 marks are coming from VSAQ and 4 is from the motion in a plane short answer questions. In this motion in a plane, we focus on two dimensional motion. Here we know what is vector, what is scalar, how to add the vectors and how to subtract the vectors. Then what is the motion of a boat in the river and projected motion. Anyway, our concept is now very short answer question. In this first question is, if AX equals to AY, how much angle is the angle it will make with X axis? Here we are going through the resolution of the vectors. We are taking one vector. It is resolved into two components. Along the x axis, this is the ax, and along the y axis, it is ay. But the given data is find the angle made by the vector with x, x axis and ax equals to ay. Suppose it is making an angle theta with this one. ax equals to how much and ay equals to how much from the figure? ax equals to a cos theta a y equals to a sin theta when both are equal we are writing a cos theta equals to a sin theta a a cancel sin theta by cos theta equals to 1 it should be right tan theta equals to instead of 1 tan 45 degrees after simplification we are getting theta equals to 45 degrees then our next question is if the vector is rotating, what about its magnitude and direction? See, we are taking one example for circular motion. This is the velocity of the body at point A. Tangent is representing the direction VA. And this is the VB. The direction is downwards. Here tangent is towards the right hand side. This is the VC. This is the VD. So, in all cases, magnitude of VA equals to magnitude of VB equals to magnitude of VC equals to magnitude of VD. But the difference is from point A to B, B to C and C to D and each and every point, the direction of the vector is changing. So, magnitude, suppose it is 2 meters per second, this is 2 meters per second, this is 2 meters per second, that 2 magnitude is same but the direction is changing point to point. Then our third VSAQ is they have given two forces. First one is the 3 units. Second one is the 5 units and angle between them is 60 degrees. We should find out the resultant. From the addition of the vectors parallelogram law of addition of vector we can find out the resultant R equals to under root F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cos theta. Instead of F1 square, 9 plus, this is the 25, plus 2 into 3 into 5 into cos 60 is 1 by 2. Then R equals to under root, 9 plus 25 plus 15. Then R equals to under root, 49. So, resultant equals to 7 units. From the parallelogram law of addition of vectors, we can able to find out the resultant of these two forces. Then our fourth VSAQ is if A bar equals to I cap plus J cap. Angle between A bar and X axis. Same, we can use this concept. How much angle it will make? First of all, we are finding what is the magnitude of A bar. Under root, I component square plus j component square you are getting under root 2. But you know that ax equals to a cos theta. Instead of ax we know that 1. Instead of a root 2 cos theta. From this cos theta equals to 1 by root 2. But instead of 1 by root 2 we are writing cos 45 degrees. After simplification it will make an angle 45 degrees with x axis. Here two components are equal. But here how much component is there? We should find it. Then fifth question is if A equals to 7 units, B equals to 24 units. And both the vectors are right angle means theta equals to 90 degrees. Here also we are using 
parallelogram law of addition of vectors a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 90 degrees. So, under root 7 square plus 24 square plus 0. Why cos 90 equals to 0? So, entire this term becomes to 0. Then r equals to under root 49 plus 476 under root 675, 625, then R equals to 25 units. Our sixth very short answer question is, they have given P bar equals to this one and Q bar equals to this one. Find the magnitude of P bar plus Q bar. So, we should add these two vectors first. So, P bar plus Q bar equals to 6i cap plus 8j cap plus 24k cap. Most of the people are doing mistake here only. Find the mod magnitude of p bar plus q bar means many people are doing until here p bar plus q bar. They forgot to find out the mod of that one. Mod is nothing but magnitude. So magnitude of p bar plus q bar equals to under root i component square plus j component square plus k component square. So 6 square plus 8 square plus 24 square under root 36 plus 64 plus 576. In previous uh, problem by mistake I took that 476 but it is 576. Then under root we are getting here 676. This is the 26 units. This is the answer. Then 7 PSAQ is can a vector of 0 magnitude have non-zero components. Clearly they have given suppose this vector is equals to 0 means it should be right 0 i cap plus 0 j cap. So compulsory it is having the 0 component. So ax equals to 0 and ay equals to 0. Non-zero components it is not possible. But in our question they mentioned can a vector of zero magnitude. First you should give the answer either yes or no. For this what is answer? No. For writing no you are getting the one mark. And remaining explanation it is not possible for zero vector non-zero components. You are getting one more mark. Then our eighth question is in the case of projectile motion. Suppose you are taking this is the projectile. At the top of the trajectory, at the top of the trajectory, what is the acceleration? Always acceleration due to gravity is acting downwards. This value is G and it is acting downwards. The ninth question is, can two unequal vectors, is it possible to, when we are adding two unequal vectors, is there any possibility to get the zero vector? No, it's not possible. Unequal vector even we are adding it is not possible. Generally suppose we are taking 2 another one is the magnitude is minus 3. 2 minus 3 how much? Minus 1. So unequal vectors when we are adding it is there is no possibility to get the 0 vector. That is the first one. So you are writing answer is no. Then second one you should give the explanation also. Second one is is there any possibility in Three unequal vectors we are adding, we are getting the zero vector. That one is answer is S. Suppose we are taking magnitude of three vectors. One is the three, another one is the plus two, another one is the minus five. Then we are adding all these three, we are getting zero. So for two unequal vectors, we are not getting the zero vector. For three unequal vectors, we are getting the zero vectors. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe my channel.